Hello there everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher Da, Teacher Dario Dan Mundo. And today, I will teach you how to navigate and explore your Google Classroom. And this is for you, our students. So, for our students, the first thing that you need to do is to go to your Play Store. And then, just search Google Classroom and then install it in your smartphones or even in your tablet. That's very important because this part is I will teach you how to use the Google Classroom in your smartphones and in your tablet. How to open it, how to explore it, and most especially how to respond to all the activities or the class works that your teacher is assigned to you. Okay? Or all the activities that your teachers assigned to each and every student inside the Google Classroom. Okay, so we have already now the Google Classroom. So if you have time, you can also install Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Meet especially, and all the Google applications. Okay, so all we have to do is to go to our Google Classroom. And right after that, it will appear the different classroom that you have inside this application. So I have three classes. I have the grade 7B, which I am included. And my teacher is Mr. Del Mundo, which is also me. Okay, so it's like this is another account for me as a student and my real account as a teacher. So this time I will show you what are the things that you will see in your smartphones and in your tablet as well. Okay, because they are both the same. And at the same time, you will know how to answer the different activities and return the paper or the document that your teacher signed, assigned and sent to you. Okay, so since my teacher here in my first classroom already has the different activities. Okay, so all you have to do is to click that one because it will notify you in your Gmail account, especially in your G Suite account, that your teacher has an activity for you to do or he or she assigned a classwork for you. So as you can see here, you will see the different comments and the news feed of your Google Classroom. So here, you will see all the classworks, all the activities of your teachers, and even the comments of your classmates, and especially your teachers. So there you go. So new assignment activity one, new assignment quiz, new assignment check my website, so on and so forth. And then those are the different things that you need to do. And at the bottom part of this one, you will see the stream. And this is the stream or your news feed, okay, where all the activities of teachers and students are located, okay? Then you will see here the second column is the classwork. This is where all the classworks or the activities, assignments, and even quizzes, materials, and all things, okay, that you need to do as well. So let's go to classwork and then we have your activity two, one, quiz, then quarter one, science virtual classroom, and you will see that you had a lot of things to do, okay? So let us first go to people. What are the things that we can see in the people icon? So this is the classwork. Later on, we will go back to this one. Okay, so to go to people, and in the people, icon you will see all your classmates there you go those are all your classmates and your teacher is located above so that is my real account as a teacher and then here also you can see the three lines in the stream so in the three lines to the stream your upper left you will see there the classes your calendar to-do list what are the things that you need to accomplish and then Archive classes, classroom folders, settings, and terms of services. And then when you go to classwork again, you will see these three lines also. And then you will see the fill, you can filter the topic. Okay, you can filter by topic, or you can refresh it if you want to. 
and when you click that one you will see all the lessons assigned to you okay so you missed one two three four and then there are one two three four five that is assigned to you and you are done with activity one okay so how is that possible okay and when you click the three dots you will see refresh and send google feedback Okay, so in activity one, we are already done. So that is why my teacher already gave me 100 points and there is a one class comment. So, sir, I'm done. It's like when you are done with a specific activity, you can comment to your teacher privately. Sir, I'm done. Sir, everything's done. Okay, or you can say, send it. And uh, when you uh, click this upper arrow, and you can extend that one, you see the edited assets and basis activity sheet. So that is your work in a document form, in a PDF form. And you can resubmit it, you can attach another file, okay, if you have. So if you think you need to edit this one, you need to resubmit, it's okay. Then right after that, you can see well done keep it up that's your teachers comment on your activity because you passed it or you submit it on time okay and then so today right now i will teach you how to make your own answer to a specific activity that is assigned to you by your teacher okay let's go to activity number two so the first things First, that you need to do when you are in the classwork is to click the assign task that you need to do. So, right at this moment, that is activity number two. There you go. For example, this is activity number two. What is your name? So, for an instance, maybe this is also a, uh, what do you call this? A quiz form or... You can say this is another what do you call this material that you need to edit and then send it to your teacher so all you have to do is to click the attachment there you go then when you click your attachment that is can be a google docs a google sheets and a google slides whichever you want something like that and then you will see here the Okay, so we have one respondent, I'm three, so that's your classmate. For you to edit this one in your smartphone or in your tablet, you will see the pen on your upper part. Okay, what is your name? Then you will see the pen. So this pen will help you to edit and this box with an upward right arrow means you will enlarge it and these three dots is you can send Google feedback. Alright, and there you go. So you can add pen, uh, rather you can choose pen, whichever you want, and you can insert also text. Okay, there you go. So let's insert text. For you to insert text in your document, just click the blank sheet. Okay, then type something. So type your name. Maybe we can use my uh... okay. Learning cute, and then right after that, for you to resize this one, go to the corner of the box and then resize it like that. One. Okay, so it's very big, right? So we need to resize this font. Okay, you just go to your lower left. Here you will see a broken square or a broken box with an arrow. And then just click this one. Then click the name. And then you can resize it. And then put it where you're going to place it. you can change the angle of the front and go to this part and then there you go if you want to resize it the same procedure okay, 
here you go so this one is for eraser this one is for you to write okay you can erase it something like that so if you want to make like that one that's okay so this is a highlighter and then just click it and then erase and right after that the first thing that you need to do is to save it there you go just click the three dots on your upper right side and then you will see the save button click save and then let's wait for a minute i guess two or three minutes then there you go you're done and you can comment there sir i'm already done so that your teacher is notified by your work of course there you go so you have it and then it will be sent to the email of your teacher see look teacher that is the student okay so you can see there sir i'm already done meaning to say that student that already sent the specific activity work for that day okay so your teacher is also notified if you are done or if you are not yet done and then your work you can see your work there edited what is your name pdf so if you want to view it just click that pdf file and there you go you will see your name or it can be like what i've said before a crease or fill in the blanks like multiple choices true or false and whatever it is just do it the same okay and then if you are done this is very important so let's go back in your work just click the up extend arrow and you will see the blue bar that says or it it has the writing turn in okay that's very important this is where you will send your classwork so it's like when you save it it's not enough you need to turn it in so that it will be recorded and checked by your teacher okay just click turn in and then you can see turn in your work one attachment will be submitted for activity two so yes do not cancel it but you need to turn it in there you go and let's wait for a minute there you go work submitted on your lower part okay so you can unsubmit it and you can edit this one you can submit another one and you can delete the old one there you go you turn it in as you can see turned in so meaning to say you already submit it to your teacher and see you have 100 points below activity 2 then you can go back and then there you go before it was highlighted like it has color blue but now activity 1 and activity 2 is already dimmed in color or turned into gray color so meaning to say you turned it in and you are done with your specific topic or specific task for that day and then if you are done you can just go back to your classes and you can check other google classroom subjects that has different classworks that you need to accomplish so i hope you learned something today so students all you have to do is to follow those instructions go to your google classroom and go to your specific subject look for the classwork and then click the specific task or activity quiz or materials then right after that click that material edit this one answer save then you can comment and then turn it in to your teacher as simple as that and then go back and do it all over again so i hope you learned something today students this is your teacher da teacher daryl Dan mundo do not forget to like share subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you are updated to my episode vlogs my travels and my tutorials bye god bless you all